Well, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing extremely well. I am driving, and I am headed to the to the building. <laughs> I'm about to get filled up so I can have some more juice for the week to get me started. You understand what I'm saying? Who God is doing something. Y'all don't feel that? The presence is in the building. It's in the car. The presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The presence of the Lord is here. Oh, the presence of the Lord is here. I can feel the presence of the Lord and I'm gonna get my blessing right. Somebody say the presence of the Lord and I'm gonna get my blessing right now. I can feel the presence of the Lord and I'm gonna get my blessing right now. The presence of the Lord is here. Up this morning in the car on the way to church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love the way the Lord just slide right on in. He said, just talk about me. I'll be there. As long as I got somebody else with me. He said, when well, two or three are gathered together, I make one, you make two. And he is definitely in the, in the building. He is definitely among us. Man, we just thank God for his presence. Thank you, Lord. Whew. And I'm going to get my blessing right now. Say that out loud. I can feel the presence of the Lord. And I'm going to get my blessing right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for a right now blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The psalmist said, I believe, so I spoke. And I'm speaking blessings into your life right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for blessings. A right now blessing. Say that out loud. And I'm going to get my blessing right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The tomb is empty. Hallelujah. And he is risen. Our risen Savior came up out the grave hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord and i just want to pray this is going to be so uh this is going to be one of my quickest words <laughs> my quickest recordings i like talking though but sometimes you just got to be quiet be quiet and let somebody else talk and listen Oh, have mercy. That's that's what we got to practice doing. Listening. Because hearing and listening are two different things. Have mercy on us, Lord. Uh, huh. What did uh, Revelation... Let's go to it real quick. Look, God is doing something. I wasn't even prepared for this. You see me driving and, and looking? But guess what? I got to get this out of my mouth and be obedient to the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is doing a new thing. Grab it. Jump on it. Jump on it. Oh, go on it. <laughs> Jump on it. Get some. It's enough to go around. Hallelujah. What did he say? Revelation 3.22. Anyone with ears to hear must listen to the Spirit and understand what he is saying to the churches. If anybody, can y'all hear me? Mic check, one, two, one, two. Lord, have mercy. We got to be obedient to the Spirit in this season. We got to speak as though it is. 
you say that out loud. I can feel the presence of the Lord. I'm going to get my blessing right now. Thank you, Lord. Good health is a, a huge blessing. Some people don't have good health. Thank you, Lord. You speak that over your life. I have good health. I have good happiness. Thank you, Lord. Look, everything else will come right on in. <laughs> you got to have that good love. Hallelujah. The words say love covers a multitude of sin. So keep on doing that. Covers a multitude of sin. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did on the cross. That covered a whole multitude of sin, didn't it? Didn't it? The greatest love that anybody could ever give was to give his life for us that we might have eternal life. This is what I believe. Hallelujah. And if you are listening to this message, hear what the Spirit is saying. Hallelujah. We got to praise God. God, I thank you, Lord, for your presence on, the, on this YouTube channel this morning. Thank you, Lord. You rose from the dead. You saved us, Lord, from the flames of hell. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Woo! Thank you, Lord. <laughs> thank you, Lord. You can't say nothing else. You can just say, thank you, Lord. You don't know what else to say. Thank you, Lord. He did that. Thank you, Lord. From the flames of hell. And all we had to do was say yes. Yes, Lord, I believe you are who you are. I would rather live my life believing there is God than to die and find out there really is one. Lord, have mercy. And I did what I was supposed to do in this body. Because we can't go to heaven in these bodies. We got to change over to our heavenly bodies. But we got to stay on one accord. We got to get there together. No one gets left behind. No one. Not on my watch. I'm held accountable for these words. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. No one gets left behind. You say that out loud. No one gets left behind. We are in this together. I'm telling you, if the, if the people before us did it and come back, um, let me tell you something. I don't want to get too deep. <laughs> get too deep but i'm gonna get deep today look it's at eight minutes all right let me hurry up so people before us some have died and went to heaven and have a story to tell the lord said it's not your time sends them back to earth with us to testify that it's real Lord have mercy and vice versa he has sent many to hell and they have a story to testify that shook them that hell is real and where do you want to go for eternity because I don't know about you but I got to get there and it ain't the hell thank you Lord I was on my way but God turned me around and I can only thank God for that day. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I said yes and meant it. We got to mean our yes. Our yes is our why. Why are you doing it? Because I said yes. Thank you, Lord. I said yes. I said I do. I became the bride. Thank you, Lord. And he is our groom. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Y'all heard that rhyme, but I ain't gonna say nothing though. <laughs> Woo. I'm getting somebody's studio so I can just flow and let it come all out. Man, I came across something that I 
wrote, I was like, oh, that blessed me for this day. I wrote it like six months ago. Put the notebook down, picked it back up, and it blessed me for that time. Oh my God, I was like, thank you, Lord. I wrote that down when you told me to so I can find it six months later. Thank you, Lord. We gotta be obedient. We don't know what seeds we are planting just by writing something down. We gotta write stuff down, man. Take a screenshot, go back and look at it six months later. You don't even know how fast time go by. You be like, I, I didn't know I had that all this time. Six months? <laughs> Y'all know I lying. You do it too. <laughs> but Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for laughter. Thank you for joy. Thank you that you are seated at the right hand of God in heaven. Waiting on us to get there. He, he got to come back and get us. And he's going to open up the sky. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And it says in the scripture, the dead is going to rise first. And we who are still alive, we're still alive. We're going to go next to meet the Lord in the air. I believe that. So in order for all that to transpire the way it's supposed to, we got to do something here to get to where the Lord said he is and he, we got to do what he said to do what the apostles did thank you Lord thank you Lord Jesus thank you for uh, somebody said Bible means or oh, it stands for um, basic instructions before leaving earth basic that's what Bible stands for. Basic instructions before leaving earth. But well, we want to get this manual down pat. I do now. I used to did. Now you say like to read. But God has, he's doing a new thing. And he's changing our mindset so we can know what we're doing all of this for. We got to be living life for something. Can't just be living. Jesus, help us, Lord. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you and may heaven forever shine upon you. Be blessed. Amen. Love y'all. I didn't hit it. <laughs>